Hi, and welcome to Aspired Elements. I am Marie, and I'm doing just a brief talk here on some of the benefits of yoga. But first, I want to actually share some stuff about yoga that normally doesn't get talked about, and normally most people are not aware of. So first of all, yoga is a treatment of Ayurveda. And if you don't know what Ayurveda is, Ayurveda is the medicine and science of India. It's a natural medicine. It's based on nature. So nature has certain principles, certain aspects of it that we all understand, like earth and water and fire and air and ether. And so we are experiencing all of those elements all the time in our own bodies around us, on the planet, and in nature. So Ayurveda is a natural medicine that uses the principles of nature to heal us. And one of the available treatments out there outside of herbs and diet and lifestyle and all of that is yoga. So yoga is really meant to help us bring our body back into balance or manage what our current constitution is because we're all different. So one of the things that doesn't get talked about is that, that really yoga, the way we've approached it, especially in the West, is more of like exercise and, and that's all fine and good because it means you're gonna get lots of benefits from yoga, but it really is a treatment. So the, one of the things that people need to look at is when they're doing yoga, how is it helping me? How is it bringing me back into balance? Is it bringing me back into balance? Because I will tell you, I've been doing this a long time. And one of the things that I see is people who have a lot more fire in their actual body and their constitution, they run hot. Those individuals tend to be attracted to yoga practices that increase heat, such as hot yoga. And then you have individuals that have a lot more earth and water in their bodies, in their constitution, they move slower through the world. And they tend to be more attracted to the more mellow practices like yin. And, and actually, the practices that are going to balance those two different constitutions is opposite of what they might lean towards. So somebody who has a lot of heat really needs a practice that is going to help them assimilate, them process and also to have a lot more playfulness and ease in their practice would be better. And somebody who is more earth needs to have more stimulation. So actually a hot yoga practice would be appropriate for them, more appropriate. Um, but everybody's different. And sometimes we go through different changes in our life that affect us as well. And you have to look at that. Are you going through stressful times? Are you going through a lot of change? Are you changing jobs? Are you moving? Do you have, you know, your, your parent moving in that you have to now take care of or a, a new baby on the way? Those things are really important to consider because that means that you adjust your yoga practice to help manage whatever it is that's going on in your life. So that's one thing about yoga that does not get discussed. I don't see it. Like you can Google I, I mean, I Googled before I decided to do this benefits of yoga. What are they saying online? And it's just the typical stuff. And there's a lot of incredible benefits, right? It's going to improve your sleep. It's going to help manage physical, mental, emotional stress. Definitely. I can tell you that for sure. It's going to help manage pain, like back pain, but also overall body pain. It's going to help with arthritis. It's going to help with emotional stuff that comes up. You're going to have better strength, stamina, and flexibility. One of the things that yoga does over time is it helps to release any kind of accumulated stress that is held. And that is life. We hold it. It's normal. And yoga helps us release it. And I will tell you this too, because I know it for sure, because I've been doing it for so long, that one of the things that's great about yoga is it doesn't matter how you show up. I have showed up to classes crying, upset, angry, frustrated, and at the end, it's completely transformed me, and I feel balanced and at ease, right? And I know I'm going to be okay, and I know I'm going to get through it. So yoga is incredible, incredible, 
It also is going to help you with your breathing. So it helps to uh, release kind of unhealthy breathing patterns, which a lot of times happens as we go through life, but it's going to unify our actions as well. So it connects us, gives us a mind body connection. Truly it does. You feel more connected. It's going to help open up the body. It's going to help uh, our subtle forces flow better. So you have energy, you are made up of energy. And if energy gets stagnant in the body, then what happens is eventually you just start feeling off. And so yoga keeps the energy moving throughout the body. It's going to release tension. It's going to release resistance. So it's keeping everything going. It's linking us and connecting us. It's helping us to have more energy, right? So overall, it's just going to enhance your life. But be aware, that's based on the appropriate practice for you. And that's different for each person. And there's yoga is really popular. There's a lot of yoga all over the place. And there's a lot of people I've met, like a lot of people teaching yoga who have not had training. And, and I will tell you that yoga is a science too. It's a science as well. It's meant to be used as a way to bring balance into your life, enhance your life, help you with your life. And so make sure that you're working with a yoga teacher um, and you're getting the instruction that's going to help you have more balance. And I would pay attention to, I did this practice. How did it make me feel? You know, and that's important. If I did a practice and it aggravated me or I did a practice and it hyped me up and I already am pretty hyped up, that's not an appropriate practice for you. If I'm already a type personality and I move around a lot and I go, 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 and I'm doing that type of a hot yoga or power yoga type of, type of practice, I might need to reassess. Like maybe I should be incorporating some other kinds of practices. And the other thing that I would also want to say is yoga should be done at least two times minimum a week, right? It's just like weight training. You're not going to see the benefits of weight training if you're only doing it once a week. So if you're going to get involved in yoga, I would do a daily practice if you can. If you're participating in classes, I would try to take two, three, four classes a week. That's where you're really going to see some benefits. And um, I'm always here for everybody that is interested in learning more about yoga and also Ayurveda because I do Ayurveda. And, um, and those two are meant to be done together. They are meant to be done together. Yoga is a way for you to bring your body into balance, right? So if you need to reach out to me, my name is Marie and you can uh, email me at aspiredelements at gmail.com, A-S-P-I-R-E-D, elements, E-L-E-M-E-N-T-S, at gmail.com. Thank you.